What's up Nightwalkers? Today I'm going over the AV Night Vision low profile battery pack ground optimized. I'm not going to go into details as to the benefits, you know, pros and cons and stuff like that of battery packs. What I'm going to go over today is if the cost of this AV battery pack is worth it over something like the more common and usually less expensive when used, uh, when you find them used, Anvis style battery packs. There are three things that make the AV battery pack superior to the Anvis battery pack. Uh, number one is the durability due to the construction of materials. Uh, you could definitely tell if you drop this thing or if you ran the back of your helmet into something, uh, you're not going to damage this battery pack. Whereas with the Anvis battery pack, uh, just with the plastic that they use, you could tell that this thing might not survive the same, the same type of uh, impacts as the AV night vision one. As well as the uh, battery tray lids here, um, as you can see where the latch goes, um, you can tell how over time, you know, you gotta, once this thing locks in here, you gotta pop it out. You can tell when these become brittle, uh, there's gonna be a better chance of these breaking, and then you're not gonna have a good contact here with your battery, with the pressure, you know, pushed down on the battery tray. Uh, the second thing is that the AV battery pack can use CR123 batteries or AA's, whereas the Anvis pack only takes AA batteries. And then the third and final thing is that the AV battery pack is waterproof, whereas the uh, Anvis one is not. The size between them is pretty similar. I mean, if you look here from the top view and from the uh, and from the side, pretty similar, not a whole lot of difference there. Uh, in terms of the weight, this one's a little bit heavier than the Anvis battery pack, you know, which is a plus because obviously if this is on the back of your helmet, uh, it's gonna function as a counterweight uh, to help offset the weight of your goggles. Uh, this may not be enough weight just by itself. And so for that reason, um, I definitely recommend getting something like the TMVC Mohawk. Uh, you're going to want one that'll hold uh, the Anvis battery pack because this one's the same size to fit inside of it. And then uh, the reason I say you want one of these is in this pouch here, you got enough space for the battery pack and then for sticking some weights inside of it like these here I got taped together. Um, another, another thing I've done when I don't use the Mohawk is I've taken some of these weights, uh, taped them together, put Velcro on it, and then this allows me to basically stick the weights right onto the uh, battery pack to add some additional counterweight if I'm not using the Mohawk. The Anvis pack uses a battery tray system. Each tray holds two AA batteries going just like that. And then here with the switch, uh, this allows you to select which tray you're gonna operate from. And this is good, so for example, these batteries die, you just flip them to that side, now you got a new fresh set of batteries. Now with the AV pack, it doesn't use trays, uh, the batteries just go right inside. And then here's your knob for selecting which, which set of batteries you're gonna operate from or turn it off. And then, um, as you can see here, I got a 123 inside. It goes inside the middle compartment or middle slot, whereas the double A's would go on these sides. Uh, now, one thing to know is you can't run all three at the same time. They just won't fit. Uh, so you're either, you're either gonna run the two double A's or the single 123. And uh, the tray here, uh, this tray I really like a lot. I shouldn't say tray, but the lid. Uh, as you can see, once you get it in here, um, and you squeeze it in, it's a nice snug fit. Yeah, you can definitely feel the gasket sealing uh, inside the battery pack, and then that's how you lock it in place. And this thing, I mean, you're definitely not gonna accidentally knock this thing loose and have this, this lid come off on you. It just ain't gonna happen. Uh, whereas with the Anvis pack, you know, if you were to uh, smack this thing and break it and damage the uh, latch, uh, the tray could just pop up like that. And that'd, be, that'd be a big problem for using your night vision. They give you a very long cable with the AV night vision battery pack. Uh, and this is what you want. You know, you wanna have more cable than not enough. Uh, so this gives you plenty of cable to route it however you want through your helmet. You know, whether you got a cover or you got to feed it through the vent holes on a bump helmet. Uh, then they also give you this little plastic piece. And what this, what this does is it basically turns this into a 90 degree uh, connector. So you basically feed it inside, push it in, gives you 90 degrees. And so that way, uh, so for example, if these were RNVGs with a Limo port, once these plug into it, your cable's not going to be sticking away off. Uh, like it would if you didn't have this piece, which would create a snag hazard. So if this thing is just hanging off like that and you grab the cable, uh, you get the potential where you could damage the cable to where it goes into the connector. To wrap up the video, uh, do I recommend that you buy the AV Night Vision battery pack uh, over the Anvis? I mean, that really depends. You know, if you're a hard use type of guy that's gonna have a higher chance of damaging the battery pack or getting it wet, uh, then for sure get this one. Uh, but if you're light use and you're just not gonna have those same types of situations, uh, there's nothing wrong with these Anvis ones. Uh, in fact, you can find these used for very good prices. So you could buy at least two of these uh, for the price of one of these. Uh, so those are all factors to, to think about when you're deciding which battery pack that you wanna get. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.